Assalamu alaikum and a lovely morning, a happy Ramadan. And I hope that you all are feeling great, you're all in good health and enjoying the first day of Ramadan. And um, the Ramadan says that we have to care for everybody. We have to look around if there's somebody who has uh, maybe less to eat, very less, or maybe nothing to eat. We have to take care of them and we have to give them, provide them with the food. Why? Because this is the month of blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the month to spread the love and care to all the humans, and especially who are those who are fasting and if they don't have anything to eat. So you have to look around to see what you can do for others. So we're going to start our lecture with a little video in which being a child, you should know that you have to look around and find the people who you can help, right? So I'm just going to share my screen. I'll show you a video, okay? So let's watch that video, what the children are doing over here. I wonder, how is he going to open his fast? Oh, how do you know? I saw him drinking water in school. Okay, let's do something. I have an idea. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum, mister. Ramadan Karim. Here is Fatur for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, see, they say they take care of each other. So this is what Ramzan says, that you have to take care of each other. Whoever is in need, you should look for them. And if you find somebody, you see somebody who has just, uh, who had uh, just water for shuhur, you should know and you should give him something for iftar. And if you have not seen him and you know that the person really needs that and he's fasting, so don't miss the chance for helping them because the small deed in, the, in Ramadan is going to give you a lot and a lot of that, right? So uh, this was just a reminder for all of you kids. I know you all know that uh, you take care of your family and friends and the people around that. But this was just a little reminder to show you that how kids are helping others. OK, so we are in our numeracy class right now and um, we are going to revise something today um, because we did a lot of numbers and all. And right now we are just going to uh, Yes, uh, revise that a little because that is give you a little fun because you have done it already before and uh, you are going to enjoy that. So we're going to revise lines because we are playing with lines every single day, whether we are in our literary class, whether in our, we are in a numeracy class, whether we are in our arts class, especially. So we are playing with lines all the time. So we are going to do that. Okay, so that is great. So just start that. But before uh, I start, I am just going to uh, show you uh, something. Um, just to give you the reminder for the uh, lines, uh, which we did before, right? You, uh, it's been a long time we did that the lines so that's why i'm just want to uh, show you that um, the video again so we will revise that because we are going to practice the lines there okay so i'm just going to show you this video and this is here <laughs> Exactly, exactly, exactly. 
Okay, that's great. So we just revised the lines, okay? And now you are going to take out your introductory maths wise book two. Yes. Take out your maths wise book two. Good. And we are going to do the lines. Yes. Okay, take out page number 33. Yes. Page number 33, yes. Now, what do you see on page number 33? Yeah, that's a ladybug. Yay, a ladybug, we can see, yeah, we can um, call it ladybird as well, because it's got small red wings and that can fly with those wings over flight, not very high, but she can take little flights with the wings, beautiful red wings. So that's why we call it a ladybird and we call it a ladybug as well, because that's a really small insect, a bug. So we can call that, okay? So here we can see the lines. So you are going to tell me the names of the lines, okay? So I hope you can see this, yeah, All right? So we just revised the names of the lines and the, how we're going to draw that. So this is the first one. So we're going to have the ladybug to go along the curve and uh, along the curved parts, okay? So you see, what is this line? Curvy, yeah, see? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Remember we did that before? Yes, I hope you remember that. Okay, that's great. So now there is another one. This is loops, small balloons kind of. They're called loops, yes. See, so you can even continue making one over here uh, by your own. So you should know how to make that. You know, I know you know how to make that but you're going to make just one at the end over here, okay? Now there is another loop, but that is downwards. This was upwards, this is upwards, and this is downwards, right? So this goes like this, I'm just going to show you. you down, then up, down, then up, down, then up, and then one we are going to make on our own, right? And then here, this is also curved, but this is downwards, this way. Yay, that's great. Okay. So I hope we can do it. This is very, very, very easy. So please start tracing the lines on page number 33. Yes, quickly. Good, good, good. Very good. Start tracing the lines. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you've done it. Okay, now show me. Oh yeah, that was very easy for you. And you did, you did it so well, yeah. See, I didn't even tell you that you have to stay on the line. You don't have to go off the line, but you stayed on the line and you did very well. Very good, very good, very good, excellent. So that is very good. Okay, now we are going to turn the page and we are going to come up on page number 34. Yes, now there are some more lines, but not new. We have done them all before. We're just going to revise it, okay? So now just have a look at this. This goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Now zigzag. This pattern is zigzag. Okay, now there is another one, right? Very easy. Now you know the strokes, you know what to do. Yeah, you can even do this with your pencil. And if you want to do it with your red pencil, uh, like uh, your red um, color pencil, you can do that as well. But do not use the crayon because crayon uh, has uh, thick, uh, the, the crayon is thick from the tip. So this will go off the line maybe, okay? So you can use your red pencil as well. Now this is also a curve, but a little different type of curve, a little like a hit looks like a hill, right? And then there's the last one. This is also a loop, but this is a, a little stretched loop, right? 
The last one was like a balloon, but this is like a drop, right? Okay, see, now you are going to do that again. Now, I mean, do this page, page number 34. Trace the lines again. Yeah, come on. You're going to start with the zigzag ones and you're going to end it on the loops, which are just like the drop, water drop, or maybe some other drop. This is called, a, uh, this is kind of drop, it looks like. But before you did, that was like a balloon that was a little wider. Yes, okay, now. I hope you can do it very quickly because you know these are very simple strokes now. You've done it before. Okay, that's great. And now you come up on page number 35. And this is very easy, straight line. And as you have seen in the video, they showed us that there are like lines, the horizontal line, the sleepy lines, right? They're also straight, but they're sleeping sleepy lines and they're called horizontal lines that's great and there this is also a line a straight line but this is standing line so this standing line is called vertical line yes the standing line is like this this is called this is straight this is straight line right but this is standing so this is vertical and if the line is straight but this is sleepy or sleeping line. What do we call it? Horizontal, that's great. So you are just going to trace them over here. This is horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Then you're going to say vertical, 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 right? So you're going to start with the black dot and you will follow the arrows yes that's great that is great i know you can do it now you know what i have to tell you and you know how to follow the instructions yeah that's great okay so you're going to show me and then i will give you something for the homework yes okay so you do that show me Hmm, good. Was that easy? Even more easy, right? Okay, turn the page and come up on page number 36. Yeah. Okay, now they're showing that this is a curve. Curve is a little turn, right? So they say that take the car along the straight road, right? So you're going to take the car to the straight road to the house and then you can even go to the curved lines as well, right? So this <clears throat> you're going to do for homework. You're going to take the car along the straight road and then you're going to go to the rest of the houses, number one, number two, and number three, right? Okay. And then here you will be following the lines. Yes, okay. So this was our numeracy class uh, right now. And I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you're going to remember the video I've shown in, uh, in the starting of the lecture to give more and more in Ramadan and take care of the people, right? So I'm going to see you soon, inshallah. Till then, stay safe, be happy, and be grateful for whatever you have. So we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye and Allah Hafiz.